Hey kids, this is Kalir. Let's play Metroid 4. Also known better as Metroid Fusion. About, uh... Well, you're probably familiar with the Metroid series. You play as the bounty hunter Samus Aran, and you go explore the universe, and there are Metroids, and there's space jellyfish that eat your face. And once Super Metroid was released, there wasn't very much in the way of Metroid games for a long time, so... After a long amount of time, they released Metroid Fusion alongside Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime had a few sequels, and Metroid Fusion was the last game in that series, and if you tell me otherwise, I'm just not going to believe you. Anyway, here's Samus. We're going to SR388, home of the Metroids. We shot that Hornode. It turned into a blob of some kind. And we don't know what it is. Some kind of weird life form made of blob. Oh, it's a parasite. Oh no, what will the parasite do? The parasite will do nothing, because parasites are... I don't know. Oh wait, no, it will do something. It'll knock us out, because our sh It'll also send our ship drifting away! We are under attack by parasites. Oh no. And then Samus crashed into an asteroid and she was never heard from again because she died. The end! That's why there were no more Metroid games after this. There were no me more Metroid games after this. Okay, not really. What happened was, she got recovered, but the ex-parasites the ex multiplied inside her system and so they had to surgically remove her suit because she didn't have any other sets of clothes and she'd been wearing that for so long that just, like, it's grown onto her, which is really gross, Samus. You should wear different clothes sometimes. Yeah, even with that, they couldn't save her without some kind of crazy deus ex machina appearing right in the hell out of nowhere. Like that, that's a good one. It's a green vial. It's a Metroid vial. It's made from 100% Metroid or something. It only kind of makes sense, like, uh, yeah, at the end of Metroid 2, she saved a Metroid. At the beginning of Super Metroid, she gave it over for research, and it was then promptly stolen by the space pirates. And now they have a little bit left over, so they're using it to make a Here, Let's Have Samus Not Die vaccine. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Anyway, here's us with about half our suit surgically removed. But, oh well. We will simply have to make do with our new, partially Metroid system. Hooray for Metroids! Those horrible space jellyfish that devour your face. Oh right, we have a mission. We are going back to the Biologic Space Labs. We worked with Biologic back on SR388 when we were getting attacked by the X-Parasites. The research team sent stuff there. That's also where our power suit went because I'm not sure. I guess they wanted to investigate the parasites that caused it to almost kill us. And now something has exploded there. That's comforting. Not really. If you're comforted by explosions, then good for you, but I don't think most people are. Oh, and also we have a computer commander now. Stupid computer commander. Why are you a computer? Stop being a computer. Oh, we had a commander before for some reason, even though we're a bounty hunter. Samus is a bounty hunter, you should know. She goes after bounties. That most of them involve working with the Galactic Federation or whatever is mostly coincidence. They're just really good customers. But she will go take on other bounties from whoever. Usually she doesn't take bounties from space pirates because she hates them because they kind of killed her parents or whatever. Anyway, mission. An explosion in the quarantine bay! That's where everything from the intro cutscene went, so we're going over to see why it all exploded. Because I don't think these are Septentrions, so they probably shouldn't explode on their own volition. I mean, maybe they are? Septentrions, they could be parasites, I'm not sure. 
But anyway, here's Samus. Because we are been surgically re removed from most of our stuff, our suit is now a bluish-yellowish thing, and not the orange, big-shouldered thing that you all know and love. We have our default beam, we have our default suit, and we have nothing else because our abilities were surgically removed. I'll stop saying surgically removed so much once we get into the plot proper. The doors are all locked. We don't have missiles or anything, so we can't open the doors. Although in Metroid Fusion, they aren't doors are not actually opened by higher levels of weapons. Each one is opened by a security level. That's the thing about Metroid Fusion. It's a lot more on rails than previous Metroid titles. Mostly because you get missions from your computer in navigation rooms. And partly because the doors are locked by security levels rather than cool power-ups. And there's only so much off-the-rails exploring you can do. Which is kind of annoying, I guess. It's only one of a few major departures it makes from the Metroid series as a whole. It's still an okay game, it's just not, you know, conventional Metroid. Ooh, bio signs. We'll have to shoot them. I mean, scan them. No way we don't have a scan visor. Shoot them it is! Yeah, we can't even open those level zero doors. Oh well, once we get up to the bio signs, we will investigate what they are. Oh, that's not normal. Let's be careful. The door has locked behind us, and there are noises, and everything has exploded. A hornode! Just like the one we encountered earlier. Take that, I shoot you with lasers. Get back here, you. You can't escape. Sure, we might be infected and we'll have to get surgically removed of all of our legs and arms, but we were not letting you escape. But yeah, that guy was infected with X-Parasites too, so that's probably why stuff happened. Well, let's talk to our computer about it. That's right, everything was infected by the Parasites. And because they're crazy space parasites, they can mimic what they kill and host, or what hosts them, so they're, uh, they're clone monsters. So if one of them had killed us, it probably could have turned into a clone of us, which would be creepy as hell. But because we are now part Metroid, we can eat them. They will be made of delicious health points and weapon ammo, because that makes sense. Oh yes, that's right, let's, let's make sure that the, uh, Parasites that can mimic all kinds of deadly creatures don't get into the area full of deadly creatures. Oh yeah, we only have a 10% chance of survival if we fight them now, so... Let's be very careful when we go to fight the horrible space parasites. Anyway, let's let's move on. Now we're into the... Well, we're out of the intro-ish part for the most part. We can now open the level zero hatches, like these here. The exit will of course attack us, we can absorb them to recover energy, and here's a save room. And in this game, one thing that makes this different from most other Metroid games is, enemies hurt a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like we already, it already said we're at 10% battle capacity which is more than these poor suckers, or that poor sucker. There are zombies. There probably were humans at one point, but the ex-parasites only sorta copied them. Like, I don't even know what that one's trying to do. They can make barriers like that, but so far they just seem like they're aimlessly mimicking whatever they can get their hands on. Oh, the doors are locked. You must have news for me, computer! Aha! Downloadable weapons data. This is another change, which I actually kind of like. We can go download missiles from data rooms and other kinds of cool power-ups that the... whoever is supplying our mission, I guess Biologic Space Labs, they will give us that. Or maybe it's the Galactic Federation, I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, can't go that way bunch of wreckage in the way. No doubt the work of the X. That's okay, we need the missiles first. 
because our beam does work on these guys, but there are some guys that cannot be hurt by the beam weapons. Oh well, just up here we should get to the data room just fine. Oh, we worked under a guy named Adam Malkovich. He sounds like kind of a jerk. A jerk that we respect, sure, but a jerk all the same. Like, maybe he like Ernest in Custom Robo. You guys should play Custom Robo if you haven't. It's good. It's much better than you'd expect it to be, and Ernest is in it, and he's cool. So I'm just gonna pretend that she said that that Adam Malkovich guy was like Ernest, because that would be nice. Anyway, let's... We don't need to save or restore our, our energy. That'll restore our energy and presumably the missiles we get. In Metroid games, missiles are... Well, our beam has infinite ammo, and it does in pretty much every game except Metroid Prime 2 for some reason. But our missiles have limited ammo. They make up for this by being much more powerful. So, let's see. I'm not gonna talk to the computer. We will just go to the data room. We will download missiles. That totally makes sense. Excuse me. Alright, and we now have missiles. And I can't fire up. I think I need to fix my controller. Because I cannot fire missiles upward. I can fire my beam weapon upward, just not missiles. Oh, the power went out. And now we cannot take the elevator. So we will simply have to find a non-elevator way to get to the huge biosigns that we'll need missiles on. And yeah, we'll find a different kind of X-Parasite and they can reload our missiles, because that makes sense. That's okay, I'm okay with it not being completely logical. Let's just go this way. No, no. Okay, maybe I can save first. Or recharge. Let's recharge our missiles that we've spent two of trying to figure out how missiles work. Alright. And up here. Take that, you plated thing. We blew you open with our missiles, and now I can go this way. Those weird barriers that the X parasites made can now be destroyed with the missiles. And now we're in. The Megacore, we're going to be attacked by Assassin Asha. No, we're not. If he attacked us now, we'd die. Because he would just reflect all our missiles back at us, and then he would stab us in the face. And there are ladders in this Metroid game. That's a kind of, sort of, kind of new addition. What's up here? Nothing. I always think there's something up there. But yeah. There are ladders. You can climb them, and you can shoot from them. You can't shoot from ledges for some reason. Now there's a bunch of hidden pickups that you can find that will increase the amount of missiles or energy or whatever you have. So I'm going to try to find as many of them as I can, but I won't be going for 100%, because that requires you to do some crazy things. In particular, there's a hidden room you can do that's just absolutely insane to get to, and I am not doing that. But anyway, I'm Kaleo, this has been Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Next time, we will investigate the X-Parasites that have gathered. Can we destroy them with our missiles and nothing else? Signs point to no. Later!